Hi guys, welcome. My name is Tennessee. Today I'm going to bring you a throat chakra flow. So a short flow to help open up the throat chakra. Um, if you don't know what chakras are, there's seven energy sources throughout your body. They start at the base of your spine and they work their way up through the crown of your head. So we're working into the throat chakra today, uh, moving up from the heart to the throat. So what is the throat? Your throat is your communication space. So it's your fifth chakra, your Vishuddha. So really opening up that communication, your truth, um, any lines of communication through the throat. So waking up the vibrational frequency there. So kind of opening up here, broadening through the collarbones, really bringing energy through the throat. Your throat is also associated to the color blue. So an indigo blue, a bright blue. So um, imagining, visualizing blue spinning wheels because your chakras are wheels that are spinning outwards. So you always want to visualize blue to open up the throat. Um, so we're going to do a lot of lion's breath today. So what is lion's breath? That's when you open your mouth and you stick your tongue out and you make an audible exhale. So just to start before we get started into our practice, it's an inhale and then an open mouth, tongue out, audible exhale. So be loud and proud with your throat, with your lion's breath throughout your practice today. Don't be shy. Don't close it in. That's how you get a blocked throat chakra. So we're gonna work through that throat today. Open it up, be loud, be proud. Don't worry about what it sounds like, just be you. Um, so we're gonna meet um, on our knees today. So if you feel like you need your blocks, please use your blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can use anything around the house that helps elevate the earth up to you, such as books or sturdy books, pillows, uh, sturdy pillows, anything of that nature, a bolster, anything like that. So. Work your way onto your knees. Again, if this is too uncomfortable for you, if this doesn't feel good, take your block. You're gonna take your knees out wide anyway, bring your big toes to touch behind, and just sit on your block and stay here. You can add as many blocks as you need, or again, books, pillows, anything to kind of help support you in that so there's not so much pressure onto the feet, the tops of the feet, all those things. Now, I always start my classes with a chakra clearing. If you don't know what chakras are, again, there's seven energy sources throughout your body. So we're gonna work our way from our root up to the crown of your head. So I want you to check in, notice what feels good, notice of any discomforts getting out of your head into your body, whether that be through the posture or your breath. All right, guys, so come all the way onto your knees. You can take your knees out wide, your big toes to touch, just sit back onto your heels. You can kind of settle into a block if that feels better for you. Um, and we'll get started. So go ahead and close your eyes. You can place your hands on top of your thighs. Let that feel good. Inhale, completely fill up your lungs. Now open mouth, audible exhale, lion's breath out. Open up the mouth, stick out the tongue. <sighs> Let's do that again. Inhale, completely fill up. Audible exhale, lion's breath out. <sighs> good, this time inhale through your nose. Now find a constriction in the back of your throat and then exhale through your nose. Now this one is your Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhaling through your nose and then exhaling through your nose. Just see if you can make your inhale the same length as it is your exhale with the same intensity. And I want you to carry this breath throughout your practice today through each posture, through each movement as we go through. Now just start to clear your mind. Bring your focus, your energy, your awareness to the base of your spine, to your root chakra, your first chakra. This is your I am space. This is your foundation, your safety, your security. This is where everything starts. Just check in, notice what feels good, notice of any discomforts. On your inhale, bring your focus, your energy, your awareness into your second chakra, the space below your belly button, your sacral, your I feel space, where you house your emotions, your desires, creativity, your sexuality. Now gently pull the energy up into your third chakra, the space above your belly button, your solar plexus, your I do space. This is what drives you, where your passion, your power, your confidence, and your worth all lie. Now slowly start to guide the energy up into your fourth chakra, your heart, your I love space, your space of relationships, self-acceptance, and unconditional love. Now gently pull the energy into your fifth chakra, your throat. Your eyes speak space, your space of communication, your truth. Now gently guide the energy up into your sixth chakra, the spaces between your eyebrows. Your eyes see space, your space of intuition, 
your third eye. And then finally, take your focus, your energy, your awareness all the way above your head to your seventh chakra, your crown chakra, your I understand space, your path to enlightenment. Now I want you to draw the energy all the way down to the base of your spine and then inhale it through the seven chakras through the crown of your head. Notice if anything gets stuck, of any discomforts, or if it feels good. Work to bring your focus, your energy, your awareness to those areas throughout your class today. One big clearing breath in. Audible lion's breath out, stick out your tongue, open up through the throat, let that go. Nice work guys, flutter your eyes open. Now I want you to take your hands down to your mat. You can take your fingers back towards your thighs or towards your knees. So slightly lift the hips up. Now you're gonna tuck your chin in. We're working into our lion's breath um, deeper this time. So tuck your chin in, big inhale here through the nose. As you inhale, start to take your gaze slightly up to the ceiling. And then audible exhale, lion's breath out, stick out your tongue, open up your throat. <sighs> Good, slowly tuck your chin back in. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, take your gaze all the way up to the ceiling. Exhales, audible, open up, lion's breath, throat, let it go. Let's do a few more rounds on our own. Inhale, lift it up. Lion's breath, let it go. One more here. Inhale, lift it up. Lion's breath, let that go. Good. Now slowly work your weight into a child's pose. So come onto the top of your mat. Bring, if you have your block, move your block. Break your knees out to the side of edges of your mat, toes to touch behind, reach extend to the top of your mat. Draw your third eye down. Now just start to shake out the hips, let it go. Your throat is often tied to your sacral, so your emotional space, allowing those emotions to have a feeling, have a voice. So what starts to kind of wiggle into the hips, breathe here. Now take your gaze to the top of your mat. Keep your arms straight. Keep your fingers gripping towards your mat. Find your hip circle. So you're gonna shift your weight over to your left side. Circle back through your midline. Keep your arms straight. Exhale, take it over to your right. Back through your uh, midline into the back. Work your way forward. Over to your right. Shifting back, shifting left. Keep it going here. Good. Just give me one more round here and then we're, go we're going to reverse that circle. So bring it back towards your midline. This time shift over to your right. Circle all the way through your midline, bring it over to your left side, back, right, forward, left, back. Keep it going. One more round. Then now slowly work your way back to your ch uh, child's pose. Once again, knees out wide, toes to touch, draw your third eye down, reach it to the top of your mat. Settle in, just breathe. Now slowly take your gaze to the top of your mat, reach, extend, lift your hips up, work into our puppy dog pose. So take your chin down to your mat, open up through the throat, draw your torso down. Lift your hips as high as you need to here. If you need to take a block, place a block underneath your chin. If that feels better, breathe. Once again, noticing any sensations in the body, just receiving, allowing the energy to move. One more breath. Good, now slowly work your way into your tabletop. So come up onto your hands and your knees. Stack your shoulders to your wrists, your hips are in line with your knees, your belly button pulls into spine. Inhale, cow pose, gaze up, bellies down. Really broaden through the collarbones here as you open up your throat. Exhale, cat tuck and dome up. Round up through your shoulder blades, tuck your chin slightly in. Uh, pull your hip bones up to your rib cage. Maybe add some movement side to side, left to right. Maybe add barrel rolls. It feels good for you. Let's do one more round here. Inhale, cow. Can you take your gaze up a little further? Exhale, cat. Tuck in, go up. Good. Slowly work your way back to your neutral spine. Just tuck your toes under. Lift your tailbone high. Find your downward facing dog. First down that of your clash. Your feet are about hip width distance. Take your gaze in between your feet. Torso to your thighs, rounding through your first finger and your thumb. You can bend your knees as much as you need to in your downward dog. The goal is to lengthen your spine. Breathe here. Good, now take your gaze to the top of your mat. Walk your feet to meet your hands. Uttanasana, forward fold. Reach for opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. Sway your body's left to right. Nod your head.
that yes or no. Maybe scoop the energy in the midline. Just bend your knees as much as you need. Feel the release the stronger back and the back of your legs. One more breath. Good, work your way back to your forward fold. Draw your hands down towards your mat. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. So toes to touch, knees to touch. Arms sweep up. Draw your tailbone back and down. Bellies in, chest is lifted. Now wrap your arms towards one another. So turn your pinkies in. Can you sink back further down? Check your toes. Make sure your knees are behind all 10 toes. So if you're pulling forward, just send your hips back and down. Breathe here, bellies in. One more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Draw your hands down towards your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to your high plank. Belly butt pulls in the spine. Keep your hips in line with your shoulders. Exhale, lower down all the way to your bellies. Hugging your elbows into your side bodies. Untuck your toes. Ground through the tops of your feet, through your hip bones. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Now, lift your chest up. Hug your elbows towards the back wall. Shoulders melt away. Take your gaze ahead. Exhale, slowly lower. Tuck your toes. Elbows lift. Downward facing dog. Tadam Bhujangasana. Inhale, right heel rises. Now open up your hips, stack your hips. Your shoulders are squared at the top of your mat. So if you're opening up here, work your right shoulder back down. Stack your hips, breathe. Exhale, square your hip. Bring your knee to your left elbow, hold it here. Inhale, three-legged dog, so your right heel high. Exhale, warrior one, steps to the inside of your right hand. Your back foot steps into a 45. Ground through the blade of your back foot, your front knee stacks to your front ankle. Hips and shoulders are square to the top of your mat. You want to keep your hips in one line. So if your left hip is opening up or your back heel is lifted, pull your heel down, square your hips, shoulders stack to hips, arms are strong. Good so guys, exhale, plant down, sit it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Go all the way down to your bellies. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Bhujangasana. Inhale, left heel rises. Open up your hips, stack your hip shoulders are square. Exhale, square your hip, left knee to right elbow, hold. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, warrior one. Step to the inside of your left hand, your back foot steps in, your front knee stacks to your front ankle, hip shoulders are square to the top of your mat, arms are strong. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, plant down, send it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Bhujangasana, breathe, let it go. Kind of let your feet. Wrap your triceps towards your ears. Find the external rotation through your inner thighs. Now we're gonna take that breath to movement. So speeding it up just a little bit quicker. Take your gaze to the top of your mat. Step or jump, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Uttanasana. Toes to touch, knees to touch, arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant down, sit it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. This time, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Knees and hips lift up off your mat, arms are straight, gaze ahead. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Bhushanasana. Inhale, right heel rises. Open up your hips, stack your hips. Now, option to stay here. Option to flip your dog for Kobat Karasana, wild thing, or flip dog. Wild thing, one leg is straight, one knee is bent. Flip dog, both knees are bent. Loading into the left shoulder, extend through the upper body, open up the throat. Exhale, flip it back. Plant your right hand down, sweep your right heel high. Exhale, fall in star. Left, right knee to left elbow. Option leg extension to your left side. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders, lift and reach. Exhale, plant your left hand down, sweep your right heel high. Exhale, warrior one. Step to the inside of your right hand. Back foot steps in, front knee stacks, your shoulders are square, arms are strong. Exhale, point that down, send it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog, warrior cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Bhushanasana. Inhale, left heel rises. Open up your hips, stack your hips. Option to stay, option for the flip. Call that cross in a wild thing or flip dog. Reach, extend, open up through the front side body. Bend and lift. Good, now flip it back. Put your left hand down, extend your left heel high. Exhale, fall in star. Left knee to right elbow. Extend your right leg over, left leg over to your right side. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders, lift and reach. Exhale, plant your right hand down. Sweep your left heel high. 
Center of Warrior One. Back foot's grounded, front knee stacks, hip shoulders are square, arms are strong. Exhale, point that down, send it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog, Warrior Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, let that go. Woo. Now this time, take your gaze to the top of your mat, step right jump, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Uttanasana. Toes to touch, knees to touch. Squeeze your inner thighs, your tailbone draws back, belly's in, chest is lifted, arms are strong. I'm gonna face you guys, working in a Garudasana Eagle. So take your arms out to a T, load it into your left leg, parallel your right thigh. Right knee crosses over your left. Now work for the bind or the kickstand. So take your, the top of your right foot to the back of your left thigh or the calf, or work for that kickstand. So your right arm underneath your left, binding at the elbows, binding at the wrist. So work your hands back to back. Now can you sing down further? Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Take your gaze in between your forearms. One more breath. Exhale, release your bind. Parallel your right thigh. One leg at Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, lower down chair pose. Toes to touch, knees to touch. Sweep your arms back up. Here at Asana Eagle, on your left side, bring your arms back out to a T. Load into your right leg. Parallel your left thigh. Bring your left knee over your right. Work for that bind with the kickstand. Left arm sweeps underneath your right. Binding at the elbows, binding at the wrist, or hands back to back. Lift your elbows up. Sink your tailbone further down. Chest is lifted, belly's in. Find your balance, find your control. Stay in it. One more breath. Good. Everybody release your bind. Parallel your left thigh. One leg at earth. Sasana. Exhales lower down. Good work, guys. Taking it back to the top of my mat. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Arms sweep up. Exhales forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift on back. Exhale, go ahead and plant your hands down. Come up onto your tippy toes. Send your heels high to the balls of your feet. Squeeze your knees, your inner thighs together. Lower down ball pose. You know, give yourself a big hug. So tuck your chin in, reach for opposite elbows. Squeeze into your midline. One more breath. Come all the way down to a seat. Just extend your legs straight out in front of you. Finding your uh, Dandasana, your staff pose. Good, now belly button pulls into spine, keep sitting up tall, extend into the crown of your head. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, Pashimotanasana, forward fold. Hinging from your hips with a flat back, leave your torso to the top of your thighs. I don't care that you touch your feet here. If you have a long towel or a strap, you can wrap around the blades of your feet, walk down your midline. You can also just bend your knees, walk the edges of your legs. Wherever you feel tension, pause and breathe. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, go deeper. Eventually grabbing for the blades of your feet, and the tops of your feet, working your knees back down. Breathe into this. Connecting into your throat chakra. So let's do a lion's breath here. So inhale, fill up. Open mouth, tongue out, audible exhale, let it go. Let's do one more round. Inhale, fill up. Lion's breath, audible, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Breathe, so settle in, let that go. We have one more breath. Inhale, slowly lift back up. Now just bend your right knee up into your chest. Now go ahead and plant your right hand outside your right hip. Inhale, left arm extends up. Exhale, take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Pull your thumb to the middle of your chest. You can plant your right hand further back. Find the twist in your spine as you take your gaze towards the back wall. Keep extending through the crown of your head. Just breathe here. Inhale, slowly bring everything back into your midline. Switch that out. Extend your right leg, bend your left knee up and in. You can plant your left hand back behind. Reach your right arm straight up. Exhale, find that twist. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Thumb to the middle of your chest. Take your gaze back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Inhale, slowly bring everything back into your midline. Now, go ahead and bend your knees. Plant the soles of your feet down. So keep your big toes planted. 
plant your hands outside your hips. We're here on way into reverse tabletop. So bend your knees, keep your knees bent, just lift your hips high. Open up through the front side body. Now option to stay here, create space through your throat, through your chin, into your chest. Option to take your gaze slightly back. Wherever that feels good in your throat and in your neck, stay where you're at. One more breath. Go ahead and inhale completely up through the nose. Lion's breath, exhale out through the mouth. Nice work, guys. Slowly come all the way onto your back. Slow your tailbone down. Come all the way back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug up and awesome up when you're leaving pose. Good. Now just extend your legs straight up to the ceiling. Find your legs at the wall pose. So surrender the flex through your feet, through your toes, through your ankles, soft bend into your knees. Just allow the blood to drain down into your torso. Now you can option just to stay here. Otherwise, let's work into our inversions. You have plow pose, shoulder stand, or ear pinning pose. Whatever works for you. You can work through all three if that feels better for you. So what you're gonna do is create momentum. So just shift your legs forward and back. Good, now go ahead and lift all the way up. Now working into our shoulder stand. So I want you to point your toes towards the ceiling. You wanna pull your hips towards the back wall. Keep your chin, chin tucked in. Place your hands to the small of your back. You wanna create a straight line. Good. Now option to stay here. Try not to take your gaze left or right, just straight up to your feet. Option to work into your plow pose. Take one leg above your head and then the other. You can keep the support to your low back. But if your toes touch, you can work your way into ear pain pose. Otherwise, just keep staying here, energetically pulling your toes down. If you've got it, bend your knees to the outside temples or edges of your ears to the temples of your head and stay here. And then you can straighten out your arms. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Inhale, slowly come back the same way you came. Whatever variation you're in. And lower your hips all the way down. Good. Slowly lower your feet down to the top of your mat. Now once your heels touch the top of your mat, find yourself a good morning stretch. Inhale, reach arms all the way above your head. Point your toes. Feel the stretch through the front side body. Breathe in. Audible lion's breath, exhale, let it go. And slowly lower your hands outside your hips. Palms face up to receive. Close your eyes, come into your final shavasana. energy, your moon energy, your Ida, and then 
slowly work your way up to an easy seated pose, just crossing at your ankles, lengthening through your spine, sitting up tall. Inhale, reach your arms all the way above your head. Take all that good energy, bring it into your fifth chakra, your throat chakra. Now inhale your confidence, your self-love, your self-expression. And then exhale all your fears and doubts. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.